The Army Corps of Engineers says sonar mapping of the Baltimore ship channel will soon be complete, which will allow them to begin cutting up and moving out the debris from the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Willie James Inman has more from Baltimore. A crane capable of moving a thousand tons at one time has arrived at the Port of Baltimore to remove the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, sitting on top of the cargo ship that struck it. It's at least going to get cut safely into four pieces and then we'll slowly and deliberately take it off the front of that vessel. But that's just the first step in cleaning up the debris and reopening the Port of Baltimore ship channel. Number one phase is reopen the shipping channel. Number two is remove the ship. And number three is to remove the debris from the bridge from the rest of the waterway. The ship and chunks of the collapsed bridge need to be cleared out to help teams find the bodies of four construction workers still missing and presumed dead. They know that right now, unfortunately, they died, but they want to see the bodies. They really want to see the bodies and bring the bodies home. The Port of Baltimore is an important part of the U.S. economy, and President Biden has vowed to, quote, move heaven and earth to reopen it. In fact, his administration has set aside $60 million to help in cleanup efforts. The president called me yesterday, and we spoke for a few minutes, and he made it clear this was the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' number one priority and I was to call him directly should we need any additional resources. When the bridge does get rebuilt, Gustavo Torres with the Latino and immigrant organization CASA says it will likely be immigrants like those who died in the collapse who will do much of the work. The Baltimore and Washington D.C. area, we have 139,000 immigrants doing this kind of job. Engineers estimate it will take years to build a new bridge. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Baltimore.